हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.10 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवर्सिबल एंड इरिवर्सिबल प्रोसेसेस फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनामिक्स बाय जी स्टॉप एंड मिकोंकी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज अ सर्टेन परफेक्ट गैस इज कंप्रेस्ड रिवर्सिबली From one bar, 17 degree centigrade, to a pressure of five bar in a perfectly thermally insulated cylinder, the final temperature being 77 degree centigrade. The work done on the gas during the compression is 45 kilojoule per kilogram. Calculate the values of gamma, isentropic index, or adiabatic index, specific heat capacity at constant volume. specific gas constant or particular gas constant and the molar mass of the gas so first of all we will write the given information in this problem we have given that this is a perfect gas which is compressed reversibly from pressure p1 which is 1 bar and at temperature t1 17 degree centigrade to a pressure of 5 bar t2 is 5 bar and per, it is perfectly thermally insulated cylinder meaning that there will be no heat transfer across the boundaries of the system so q is equal to 0 the final temperature which is t2 after compression is 77 degree centigrade so converting this into kelvin it will become 290 kelvin and this will become 350 kelvin also the work done during compression is w from 1 to 2 is 45 kilo joule per kilogram we are required to find the values of four terms first <coughs> adiabatic index which is gamma second we have to find the value of specific heat capacity at constant volume third specific gas constant and the molar mass of the gas which is m bar so coming to the solution of the problem we have plotted this reversible compression adiabatic process on the pv diagram on y axis we have pressure and on x axis we have specific volume and this is the state 1 and this is state 2 the process start from 1 and ends at 2 according to adiabatic law pv power gamma is equal to constant so for adiabatic and reversible adiabatic compression we have temperature ratio and pressure ratios and they have a relationship which is t2 by t1 is equal to p2 by e1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma so we are interested to find the value of gamma first so taking the natural log of this expression so this expression will become natural log of t2 by t1 is equal to natural log of p2 by 
P1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So also further we can also write it like this natural log of T2 by T1 is equal to gamma minus 1 by gamma into natural log of P2 by P1. Rearranging this expression, so we can write this like this gamma minus 1 by gamma and it is equal to natural log of T2 by T1 over natural log of P2 by P1. So if we put the values of T2, T1, P2 and P1, we will find the value of gamma. So putting the values in this expression, let's suppose this is expression A. So putting the values in expression A, it will become gamma minus 1 by gamma and it is equal to natural log of T2. T2 is how much? It is 350 and T1 is 290. Also, the value of P2 is 5 bar and the value of P1 is 1 bar. So, simplifying this and we get gamma minus 1 over gamma is equal to 0 0.117. Further, gamma minus 1 over gamma is equal to 0 0.117. So, we are interested to find the value of gamma. So, gamma is equal to 1.132 having no units because gamma is the ratio of CP and CV. So these quantities have same units so gamma has no units. This is just an index. Also second we have to find the value of CV for that this was about the solution of part 1 which is for gamma. Second now we are interested to find the value of CV which is specific heat capacity at constant volume. For that we can write that the work done is equal to CV T2 minus T1. Here we have given the work done which is 45 kilojoule per kilogram. The value of T2 and T1 are also known. So rearranging this expression for CV, CV will equal to W by T2 minus T1. Let's suppose this is expression B. So putting the values in expression B, expression B will become W is equal to CV is equal to W is 45 kilojoule per kilogram divided by T2 is 390. 350 minus T1 is 290. So simplifying this, the value of CV comes out 0 0.75 kilojoule per kilogram per kilogram. So this is the value, required value of C. Third, we have to find the value of specific gas constant. 
our particular gas constant. For that, we have the expression R is equal to Cv into gamma minus 1. This expression is derived in chapter number 2, working fluid. In the topic of perfect gases, so putting the values R is equal to CV value is 0.75, gamma value is calculated which is 1.132 minus 1. So simplifying this the value of R comes out 0 0.099 kilojoule per kilogram per kilo. Fourth, we have to find the value of molar mass. So, the expression for molar mass is equal to R bar by R, where R bar is the universal or molar gas constant and R is the specific or particular gas constant. This has value 8.3143 kilojoule per kilomole per kilo one, and the value of R is calculated which is 0 0.099 kilojoule per kilogram per kilo one. So, Simplifying this, the value of molar mass comes out 84 kilogram per kilogram. So this is the required solution of problem 3.10. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.